Hey guys, Jason here. It's Thursday morning and my wife is laughing at me. Thursday morning, it's like nine o'clock. We finally are, are ready to go here. Uh, and we're leaving for Retro Palooza. So yeah, we got a 24 hour drive ahead of us. We're gonna do 12 hours today and 12 hours tomorrow. And we're gonna try and vlog most of this trip for you guys. Obviously you can see, maybe you can see the cabinet in there. And a bunch of other crap. This car is pretty much chock full. And this isn't my car, we rented it. But uh, you know, we didn't wanna take our van because the kids need that while we're here. They're staying with grandma and grandpa. Anyways, let's take off and we'll see you guys uh, every so often throughout the trip. That's my wife Amber, you guys haven't met her before but she's gonna be taking this trip with me and you'll see quite a bit more of her. Talk to you guys soon. Look at these lovely fields. Truck. We're going to Texas, so it's only natural that we start singing some Garth Brooks. Okay. Right? Yep. So what's the song that we're gonna sing? I got friends in lowly places where the whiskey drowns and the beer chases my blues away. Woohoo! I don't even know that song, I'm such a loser. <laughs> so we are like eight or nine hours into our trip and we finally found our in and out yes. We finally get to eat some dinner. And it's about time. Best fast food restaurant in California. But this is in Arizona. Yes, this is in Arizona. We had to go to in Arizona to get in and, in and out. In and out by the highway. Really How stupid. How dare you, California? Really stupid. So we start the trip in the bathroom. I don't know how far out I have to really hold this thing. I guess we'll figure it out together, won't we? Well. If the shots are screwed up, you know why. So bam, there we go. That looks a lot better now, actually. Got the hair did. Got my beard all good. Got me looking good. I'm wearing Legend of Zelda. So now it's time for the three hour trip to Portland. Don't know if you can quite see me, but about to head out to Portland at the front of our house. So, we're gonna go from Newport, Oregon to Toledo. No, we're gonna go from Newport, Oregon to Lincoln City to Portland. And my flight's at 9.50. I got all my stuff in the backpack. Got my wireless headphones. I've got the phone, which is what I was just checking for. I've got my 3DS. I've got another backup phone, which is just pretty much an MP3 player and my Vita. So I'm nerded up and I'm ready to roll. Well, I'll see you guys in Texas. Well, no, I'll see you guys at the airport. But the, the, for those of you that'll be there, which you're watching this after the fact, I'll see you in Texas. Here we go. 
just started our second day of 12 hours of driving. Slept in a days in last night with well water that was yellow. Yeah. I couldn't tell after Jason went pee. I thought he didn't flush. Thank you, dear. Yep, you're welcome. And uh, uh, no water pressure and a shower head that was too short. So I had to bend my knees in the shower in order to wash my hair. I really wish I could have taken a picture of him, but that would have been inappropriate. Just a little. But that's okay. We're doing all right. <laughs> we're, we're, uh, it's something like eight o'clock. So we'll get, we'll get to, uh, Arlington, um, probably around nine, hopefully nine or 10 tonight. Hopefully have a few minutes to set up the table a little bit and uh, be ready for the convention tomorrow. And we're going to be going through the rest of Arizona and New Mexico today. Albuquerque. I'm kind of excited about seeing that. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! I'll be happy when the drive is over. And here is the view in Arizona currently as we are driving. Just got to Dallas off my flight. It's all hot, like really, really hot um, compared to Oregon. So let's get to the hotel, shall we? Jason will be here around nine or so. So let's do it. And we're driving now. Well, I get to intimidate her. But on the road here. Leaving New Mexico, entering Texas. We are in Texas. Finally in Texas. Yay! We got like six hours left in our trip. Welcome to Texas. Oh, thank Welcome you. Welcome to Texas. Welcome to Texas. How nice. The speed limit change? I don't know. I don't know either. You better speed up just in case. Don't mess, don't mess with, with Texas. Texas. <laughs> you are crazy. Glory. I'm on the seventh floor. You can see Six Flags over off in that direction. I think that building over there is the convention center. That's uh, Arlington slash Dallas Airline right there, Skyline. 
Skyline, that's the word. Room tour, room tour, room tour. This was originally a room for Jason and myself, but uh, it ended up just being me. His wife ended up coming with us this time around. So they, rightfully so, needed to get their own room. I mean, if I ordered a room with Jason and myself and Christina came with me, yeah, I'd get a separate room as well. All right, so I have no clue if uh, any of the footage that I took after I left home is worth a damn. but um, yeah, this place is nice. I've got two TVs, I've got two beds, so I get to sleep in, you know, two different beds if I want. <laughs> got some, looks like it looks like some complimentary coffee. There's no light up here, is there a light? There's a light up here, okay. So it looks like some coffee. It's not that swanky that it's a, uh, a mini bar, though that, nope, that's just a fridge. All right, no mini bar. So Jason, bless his heart. <laughs> no, um, no seriously, uh, forgot that there's a two hour time difference between the West Coast and, 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 and Texas. So nine o'clock turned into about 11 o'clock. So uh, we're not gonna be able to head down to the um, convention center tonight. So we're gonna have to be, get up real early, about seven, head on over to the convention center. It's about 6.30ish now. Central Standard Time, of course. Go, Jason. Um, I'm gonna head down to the restaurant in the lobby. It's actually a pretty decent restaurant. Um, I'm gonna get something to eat. I'm not feeling good, actually. Um, sorry, I'm trying to figure out how this works exactly with holding my Kindle uh, and this, this battery pack. Uh, I would have. I would have. I'm blocking the camera. And I'm gonna keep that in too, because this is just me learning how to use this damn thing. The shuttle was would have been free from the airport to the hotel, so I got to save 40 bucks if I would have just shown my itinerary. So if uh, Jason and Amber can't give me a ride to the airport on Tuesday, um, then I'm just gonna take the airport from the hotel. Over there, down, down for free. That'd be awesome. And uh, it'll, that'll be a night for me, probably. Unless I want to go somewhere. If I would have remembered to bring my Magic the Gathering cards, I could have taken a lift. Oh, that was the other alternative. Take a lift from the airport. That really would have only been like 20 bucks. So, I mean, if I need to go anywhere, which ties back into if I would have brought my Magic the Gathering cards, I could go down to one of the local game shops that's doing Friday Night Magic. It's the new Kaladesh release date for the new uh, set for Magic the Gathering, which I'm actually totally interested in. And didn't put any thought into that whatsoever. So my arm's aching really bad. Let's go get some food. So this place is pretty big. Um, just watching the game over Greggy show, kindofunny.com. Uh, waiting for my burger that I ordered, and that's about it. Still not feeling great, <laughs> but I got a burger coming, so I'll let you guys know what's going on in a bit. I hope that angle is right. I have absolutely no clue. All right, so got my food actually blazingly fast. Faster than I, th I thought, to be honest. Pretty good price. Good burger. Or just a good looking burger. Today's just a chill day, I guess. Food. It is the cure of an upset stomach, at least for me. I don't know how that works or why that works. Might answer for a lot of my, um, well, that, but you know. I do have a question for those of you watching 
and that is when you go, when you fly or travel somewhere, what is it that you like to eat that makes you feel better? Say, um, you're not the best traveler. Now, I can deal with airplane routes just fine. Airplanes, I actually like to fly. That to me is, is great. Taking off, landing, I actually like it a lot. But I'm feeling homesick. This is the first time I'm away from Christina for any time, really, any significant time. I mean, the most we, whatever we do, we do it together, and we haven't been away from each other yet. I don't know. I know I'll be fine, but my my nerves, my body is just kind of like, what are you doing? Your rock is. 1600 miles away, what the f are you doing? I'm gonna have to bleep that out because I don't think Jason wants cussing on this channel. I'm gonna have to bleep myself for the first time, I think. Yeah, either way. Let me know what food comforts you guys. I think a burger is my go to when I'm not exactly sure about the food and it's making me feel better. So, at this point, Probably tomorrow. He's just gonna get here and then go straight to sleep. I also don't know what his footage is. So he may also be explaining this to you guys, and I have no clue. I'm giving myself more work. Alright, later guys.